Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I, I don't know why I said it like that, but I'm alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth. Remember that. So if your discretion is advised, but if you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our Tom fondly. Y'all, I am so excited to finally get to talk about the new Odin's Eye collection, the Halloween with my Swedish queen, Angelica Nikvist. My Aunt Sheshka. Where is the collection? <laughs> Hold please, I thought it was right next to me. I'm like, oh, it's not down there. Hold please. So the Halloween collection consists of these two beautiful palettes and these five lip products. And if you're lucky, and I believe some things are available and some are not, so I do apologize that I'm showing you things that you may or may not get. But you do get this beautiful sash, which I have to say I love Odin's eye silk scarves because I put them on my handbags because I want an Hermes bag, but I don't make Hermes money. <laughs> so I fake it till I make it. And that's where these babies come in handy. But these are really, really cute and they look really, really nice on the handles of your handbag. So just a heads up, a fun tip for me. Or if I feel really spicy, I could pretend that I am an airline... <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there because it's gonna sound like a fantasy that me and Alex play. I used to work in the airport. <laughs> I used to work in an airport many, many years ago. That that place was that yeah, that place was wild. Anyway, I used to have to wear like a little silk scarf around my neck. I was adorable, okay? I was adorable. Anyway, so if you want to have that fantasy too, you can attain that with these scarves. But I think the cutest thing in this whole collection is the fact that you can get these little plushy keychains, which I actually put them behind me because that's where they're gonna live. Because if I lose one of them, or God forbid they get dirty, I will lose my shit. So they're gonna always be behind me in my little permanent shelf fixture back here so these are adorable and I have to say I really hope to see more of this stuff listen I'm a child y'all okay but I kind of hope that we see more of the stuff from Odin's eye with future collections because it would be a fucking travesty if we didn't okay the little 13 year old girl inside me that I ate <laughs> why she's living there is screaming for more cute stuff so yes 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 okay that said let me tell you a little bit about these palettes the trick-or-treat palette retailing for $43.90 features striking accent colors of green orange and red carefully selected by Angelica Nikvist the overall color story contrasts an atmosphere of mystery and Halloween spirit while the contrasting shades reflect the dual nature of the goddess Hilo now I also do apologize that I don't have any swatches I did swatches I did my arm is really really red and not because of the makeup but because of the makeup wipes that I was using because new Gina Hydra Boost really did me dirty. But anyway, my arm is really, really sore today. That's why you're not, I'm so sorry, you're not seeing any swatches. You're just gonna see the actual palette. And I apologize, but there are a lot of videos out there, plus beautiful swatches on Instagram. I'll link some stuff down below if you wanna see actual really, really pretty swatches. Plus my swatches always look like shit anyway. <laughs> gives a shit about my swatches. Any hizzy, let me tell you about the other palette. The Little Ghost palette retails for $43.90. In the Little Ghost palette, Angelica Nikvist opts for a mesmerizing mix of purples and pinks. This collision of mysterious cool tones and vibrant warm hues, highlighted by dreamy pinks, imbues the palette with a uniquely festive flair. So in today's video, we're going to be doing two different looks with the palette. We're going to do trick or treat on this side. We're going to do a little ghost. I want to say a little ghost boost so badly. Like, little ghost palette on this side. Now I've already done my base if you're interested and or want to know what I have on. I have the Revlon Skin Caring Foundation, which this is so good. I love this thing so much. <laughs> I've already bought a backup, okay? That's how much I've been using this one. I love it. I have that on. I have a little bit of the house and the Gucci concealer on. I've been loving the Kosas Cloud Set as well as their bronzer. Fucking amazing. But I have to say I'm kind of like low-key still obsessed with this. I, I don't know what happened. I think this was a happy mistake that this was sent to me. After playing with the Jellyfish palette so many times, I'm kind of like, it's fine. This I get so much more use out of. I don't even understand because it's not meant for me. But the fucking blush, if anyone's interested in like this beautiful kind of like orangey hue so good and one of you little babies I forgot who and I'm really really sorry because I'm horrible at this recommended that I should try one of the finishing powder as a bronzer and you know what it kind of looks really fucking nice so I'm actually getting a lot more use out of the snake palette if you're on cooked chicken you might really really enjoy this okay like I fucking love it anyway I wanted to make myself like a little orange pumpkin today because I wanted to turn myself into an electric pumpkin again although I'm not gonna lie though because as much as I love the look that I did in my last video I kind of want to focus on these greens over here these greens are calling me and you know I'm a swamp ass bitch <laughs> I really like them Ooh, I really like them oh I'm, I'm having a hard time here today anyway let's jump into it let me shut the hell up <laughs> And jump into it. So I'm actually going to be using the Kaleidos Tone Activator Primer. I love this stuff. I feel like the only eye primer that really works for me. So most of them are kind of like oily messes. I'm like what the hell is that about? I've been playing with this collection and I really really like it. I only have like I would say maybe like a 
maybe one or two complaints. And it's not even really that bad, honestly. But I do notice a texture with some of the shimmers. So Odin's Eye usually makes some very, very silky smooth shimmers. Some of these guys kind of have a little bit of a harder texture, but application-wise, they're fine. So for example, like this green one down here, oh my God, I can't even see the name of this, which is Brew. This one kind of feels rough. It is very, very bright. It just kind of has a little bit of a texture. Even the one next to it, Trick or Treat. This one has a little bit more of like, I would say some glitter bukkake. There's some there's a little bit in that one. They're not as smooth as, say, some of my other Odin's Eye stuff. And I don't know if it's because they're pressed down a little bit differently. But beyond that, though, application-wise, longevity-wise, I don't have an issue with them. They just feel a little funny. That's it. Thankfully, it's not as hard as, oh, God, what the hell was that palette? The Nomad palette. You know when that came out? That was, like, really, oof, that hurt. And then I also felt like it was really kind of difficult to kind of get any pigment. That's not the case here. Thank God. Not the case. It's just a little bit rough. It's a little bit rough. Okay, so that said, I want to play with that green one because it just looks like such a mutant shade, but I also want to turn myself into an electric pumpkin again. I don't know what to do. I wish I had a third eye. That would be perfect right here, and then I could do everything that I want to do. <laughs> oh, choices, choices, bitch. Okay, so let's start with, we're going to add that green, but we're going to put it in the low... Do I want to do it in the lower lash line? I usually don't like shimmers in the lower lash line, but I think we're gonna fucking try it though because I, I think it would be a mistake not to do my electric pumpkin because it was so good. So let's dive into this shade, which is Howl. I'm so sorry, the, my other complaint, very small, the text is sometimes a little difficult to read. It's usually the case with Odin's Eye. I always feel like the text is like, the, what the fuck is this? But also I'm old. Okay, I can't see like I used to. My eyes are going. Sometimes it's a little difficult. Any hoozies. How are y'all? I'm good. This is my little Sunday video. So I hope everyone's having a lovely Sunday. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of work and then I'm gonna go play. I'm gonna go run wild and free and we're gonna go to Hollywood Studios today because we've re-upped on our passes and I, I just wanna be wild and free today. I work really hard and I wanna play. Even though I know I was just in Disney, granted I wasn't with all the girls for every day um, and if you didn't know, they have like a bunch of vlogs and shit like that, which go watch. My husband is a gem. Mm -hmm. He might as well be an influencer at this point. <laughs> He's a better influencer than I am. I'm gonna go into the shade Wicked. It's a very, very pretty, basically my skin color <laughs> shade but i find it's a nice shade when you are blending out colors it gives it a nice soft edge so it doesn't look super harsh like that see how cute but i'm gonna go back into that shade with no additional product the uh oh my god this is this is i'm not even joking when i do this howl <laughs> just to kind of build it up just a little bit in that crease area. She's cute, I love her. Now what I wanna do is I'm going to go into the shade Vampire Fangs, which is this guy here. And we are, you know what, I'm going to kind of put this, I'm gonna put this in the outer corner, but I'm also going to work this into the crease. I wanna go to Disney. Watching them all go to Disney while I was stuck at work just made me super jealous. <laughs> And I'm like, I want to go play. Um, but unfortunately, it's so hard going during the week because my hours are just so unpredictable. So I'm like, all right, let's upgrade the pass and let's try to go on the weekend. So I'm hoping today is going to be a nice quiet day. And it's actually kind of getting nice in Florida. I say nice, it's still 90, but it doesn't feel like 106. <laughs> hoping I don't have a heat stroke today. Hmm. I really, really like this palette. Out of both palettes, this is the one I gravitate towards the most. Not to say that the other palette's bad or anything like that. It's just, I feel like when I look at this, I can see so much possibil possibility and I want to constantly keep playing with it. The other one, it's, I feel like it's more a, kind of a companion piece palette. Like it's really, really pretty. You're still gonna get really nice looks out of it, but I find myself kind of reaching for other things and then using that as like the focal point, if that makes sense, right? But I have to say, I've been really, really enjoying these. And if you are a fan of Odin's Eye, quality is pretty consistent across the board. See, that's what I like about it. It has like a nice little blend. Like it really just does all the work for you. You don't really have to go back and forth. You don't have to jerk this off. Just gives you like a nice fall electric pumpkin vibe. <laughs> and I'm into it. How are they doing construction? What the fuck? Come on, Florida, get it together. Now what I wanna do is, I don't know, bitch. Do I wanna do this one? Oh, do I wanna do this one? Oh, do I wanna do this one? I really just want to throw this green all over the lid, but I know it's not going to look good, but I want you so badly because <laughs> it just looks so fun to play with. Um, but nope. What I want to do now is I'm going to use these three shades. <laughs> Goblin. I love that. Vampire Fangs and 
I want to say it's called geometry, but I'm pretty sure it's cemetery. And, <laughs> and I'm going to combine all three of those because I want to make the outer corner just a little deeper. Yeah, like that. And I don't want to take it up into the crease. I just want to leave it in the outer corner. I'm going to go into the shade Deadly, which is this very, very beautiful, like molten lava orange shade. And I'm going to put that all over about three quarters of the lid. But I am going to use a little bit of NYX glitter glue just to make my life a lot easier. I love how metallic the shade is. And I try to go in, especially with Odin's eye stuff, is that, you know, I really do like their shimmers, but sometimes they can be a little bit of like a glitter bukkake moment. So I try to go in with a very small detailed brush, just so it doesn't get all over the place. And this is looking really cute. Oh, bitch, I love this. I love this so much. But what I want to do now is I want to go into the shade Full Moon, which is right above it. And I want to see if I can kind of put that, yeah, like right there. Oh, yes, give me electric candy corn vibes. <laughs> That's so pretty. I love this. I'm just gonna add a little more. Cause I kind of want that yellow now a little bit more. Blend that a little bit better into that orange shade. Serving you fucking fall vibes, bitch. <laughs> So now what I want to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to take Goblin and I'm going to line the top lash line with that one. I really have been enjoying using shadow as liner so much better. And also like, it's not as messy because sometimes liquid liner could fuck you up. Well, fuck me up because I have, as you can see, very, very limited space. And then last but not least, now we're going to start working on the lower lash line. And I kind of, so, okay, hear me out. I really, <laughs> I keep looking at the screen shade because I really want this to on the bottom so i think what i might do is something a little bit different for me but i think i'm going to so i'm going at this like little pencil you can't even see the brand name oh man but it's from yes style <laughs> it's a very very thin kind of brown eyeliner i'm gonna put a little bit of nyx glitter glue on this kind of packing brush synthetic packing brush and i'm gonna see if i can just put a little bit under my eye which i feel like is kind of weird and then Mm, not what I wanted. Okay. I thought this was going to be a little bit more. So this is where I fucked up. Thinking that I could do this with... <laughs> use this as like a shimmer try to use this in the lower lash line i don't think this is gonna work no if anything it's like kind of coming off a little bit grungy because it wasn't meant to do that that was my fuck up so <laughs> what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cover that mistake that's what we do on this channel just cover shit up so i'm gonna go into the shade next to it which is poison which is a very like bright ass green and we yeah okay that's that's way better. I was kind of hoping for a little bit of kind of a grungy moment, but no, I realized that is not gonna work. That shade, the Witch's Brew shade all over the lid is pretty, but my under eye area just does not know how to compute. <laughs> It just does it. I'm gonna take that Wicked shade, the one that kind of looks more like my skin tone, and I'm just going to softly blend out the edges. I don't want it to be like super stark, but I kind of want to give you like a, a pumpkin fantasy, but kind of candy corn, but in reverse, mixed with fall. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go in with a green liner. So this is from About Face. This is the Reptilian liner. Okay. I like this, this is cute. So what I wanna do now is I'm going to take a little bit of mascara. This is fucking cute. This is cute, I love her. So the only thing I wanna do though is put something in the inner corner because I'm an inner corner bitch. So we're gonna go into the shade Mummy's Curse. I'm gonna just pop that, just like that, and we're done. I like it. Giving you candy corn slash pumpkin realness. <laughs> This is adorable. I love how it goes perfectly with my little orange cheekies. I think this is cute and I'm a fan. I'm happy. Now let's move on to this eye. Start with a little bit of the Kaleidos. Okay, so what do I wanna do? Hmm. See, there's a lot of fun pops in this one with the shimmers, like they're so pretty. There's like this gorgeous little duochrome, it has like a pink blue reflect. And you have this one that's like pink and yellow and I kind of want to do the pink and yellow. Although this blue is fucking stunning too. Hmm. <laughs> kind of want to do the pink and yellow. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to do. So I want to use that yellow a little bit. So I'm going to start with this blue shade down here, which is ghoulish. I am going to put that all all over the crease and above the crease. I can't help it, but I feel like I want to go with like a cotton candy moment. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm giving you like spring vibes a little bit, but I'm not mad at that. I'm going to go into this blue shade haunted down here. We're going to pop that into the outer corner as well as the crease. I love blue eyeshadow. Maybe it's because I am secretly Mimi Bobak, but fuck, I do love some good blue eyeshadow. It's giving me like truck stop hooker. <laughs> 
and I'm here for it. Listen, that's what we all aspire to be. I'm gonna go into kind of the haunted house shade and the little ghost shade, which is like blue and purple. I'm gonna put that more in the outer corner. And that is so pretty. Okay, I made it a little bit too dramatic, I think. <laughs> Wanna make it a little bit lighter. The only thing is that that blue shade, Haunted Mansion, see how it's, it's lifting just a little bit? Just a little bit, which tells me it's like one of those shades where you just can't overly blend, you overly blend, it starts to kind of lose its opacity. So I think once I'm done blending here, I'm just going to kind of pack it on and just leave it big. Go back into that Gula shade, soften those edges. I'm basically giving you like a deep sea moment and I like it. And actually, I don't know if it is the haunted house or the little, maybe it's the little ghost shade. Let me see if I just use, yeah, no, it's not the haunted house shade. It's the little ghost shade, I think. Adding that kind of made it a little bit. Is someone playing the fucking bagpipes? The fuck is going on outside? Jesus. That looks a lot better. Okay. So I think it's the purple that I can't really blend too much because see how now it looks fine. It looks good. But I really do like that purple. It's a pretty color. I'm just gonna go into that shade. Just put it right in the outer corner. I'm not gonna blend it. I'm just gonna pat it on. And that looks cool. I like that. I know this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. But again, Halloween and deep down inside, we're all a little bit like a Mimi Bobak, <laughs> aren't we? So what I wanna put all over my eye is this pinky blue shade. It's calling to me, it's a siren. If I don't have it, I will cry. Take some NYX glitter glue and take another little small detailed brush. Okay, gonna go into that. Oh my God, I was about to call it beef. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's called boo. <sighs> oh yeah. Oh, this is fun. I like this. Giving you deep sea vibes and I'm here for it. And a little bit of like a peachy pink in the waterline. My hands are so dirty from like glitter everywhere. Okay. Ugh, dramatic, I know. You know what I want to do? I want to do something a little bit different. We're going to take a little bit, and I don't know how this is going to work, so uh, here's hoping that it's, it's going to be cute. But I want to take a little bit of candy corn, which is this orange shade down here, and I want to... Just kind of gently place that in the lower lash line or a little bit underneath the lower lash line, I should say. And I'm gonna smoke that out. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that yellow shade, that banana taffy, right? Oh my God, I cannot read. <laughs> Trust the process. I know it's, it looks a little fucked up. Trust the process, hold on. I like how both of those colors look together. I don't necessarily know if they go with this look. <laughs> But uh, A for effort, right? No, we're gonna fix this, hold on. This is also a very nice yellow too. It does require a little bit of building up, but it's pretty opaque, which I love. And the same goes for that orange. It's gonna build that little bitch up. This is very colorful. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm actually gonna cheat and I'm gonna go into that first palette, the Trick or Treat palette, because I want that white shade or that off-white shade. I think this is gonna be the thing that kind of blends it together. Cause there is like a light purple shade. I don't think it's gonna look really good when I blend all those colors together. So yeah, that looks better. Much softer, okay. We gotta match the energy of the lid. Oh, she's cute. Where are you going, bitch? Target. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very fun Target look. Now I am gonna go into that skeleton shade. That was the kind of light purple shade that I was talking about. And I am going to use this to blend that blue out. Again, just to make it a little bit softer, get rid of any kind of harsh blending lines. So last but not least, let's do something with the inner corner. And I mean, I gotta go back in with that pink, that boo shade, it's so cute. It's so cute. It's gonna tie in everything, which is amazing. I'm gonna put on some mascara and then we're gonna move on to the lips. Here's the completed eye look. I mean, I'm adorable. Hello. This is more tropical fish. <laughs> This is more fall, uh, but I like it though. It's fun. It's kind of giving you like a weird sea galaxy slash candy corn. I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> it's a tropical fish and I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. So now we're gonna move on to the lip products. And in this collection, we have three different lip products. So the whole lip collection actually retails for $62.55 and that includes two matte lips, two shine and one glow. Or, or you can buy one separately at $13.90 a piece. So we're gonna start with the matte ones first. Like I said, there are two mattes. The first one is Swamp Fog, which is described as a nude matte lip stain with a yellowish brown tone. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't try all the lip products. I only really gravitated towards the shine ones because y'all know I really don't like a lot of matte stuff. So, oh, this is a pretty color, just not on me. No, it's nice formula though. Uh, I mean, maybe it is, hold on, hold on. 
You're even judging it too quickly. See, I want to like this color because this color is actually, you know what, maybe I do. Maybe, hold on, hold on. <laughs> like I'm fighting with myself. Yeah, okay, no, uh-uh. Formula-wise, I really like it. I think it's very, very pretty. I don't got a bad thing to say about it. Uh, Color-wise, I don't know. <laughs> it's better than I expected. When I first put it on, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Um, but the more I have it on, the more I kind of like it. I kind of like it, but I want to throw a little bit of that glow one on there. So the glow one is a sheer light orange base with multi-color shimmer. So I kind of want to throw a little of this on there. Oh yeah, okay. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah, I like this. I think when it's a matte lip, it freaks me the fuck out. <laughs> I'm just like, ah! <laughs> I'm like too dramatic. I'm like, this is not good. This just feels like it's suffocating my lips, even though it's not. But just the fact that it looks matte just freaks me out. I'm unhinged. I don't know what the fuck to tell you, okay? <laughs> I make no sense. This I could fuck with. This is a color combination that I like, and I would totally wear this. Yes, I'd wear this. <laughs> I think this, this, yeah. I'm like, yeah. This, I'm like, ah! But this, yeah. I could fuck with this. I like it. Golf claps, golf claps. Let's try the other one. So Shadow Creature is a vintage red wine matte lip stain. Oh, I'm gonna not like this. <laughs> oh, it's a bold color. Oh. Is this the same? Oh, okay. Okay, for a second I was like, is this the same one? I don't know, I'm sorry, I had a, a brain fog moment, okay? Listen, I had COVID, all right? My brain is not what it used to be. Fucking Swiss cheese. I can just hear people say like, well, what's your excuse before? Fuck you, okay? <laughs> <sighs> no one likes to know it all, all right? Shut up. Anyway, I like this. <laughs> I'm such a twat. I'm so sorry. No, I'm not. I don't give a fuck. Okay. I like this shade. I think it's really, really pretty. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I can fuck with it. I do want to throw quicksand though over this because I like quicksand. Quicksand's good. That's my favorite one. Or is it spectral? Maybe that's what it is. I forget. No, I think, I think it's the other one, but I feel like this one. I like the combination of those two. That's really cute. I have to say the lip bundle is actually a pretty good fucking deal because a lot of the colors, actually all of them, feel like they go together so well and you can kind of mix and match. This is good, I like it. Moving on to the shine lips. This is quicksand on its own. This is a color that I don't think I would wear on its own, but over like a brown lipstick, yes. So yes, just it needs to be over something. It's very, very pretty though, I like it. And then of course, my favorite, this is Spectral. Spectral is like a nude pink. This is so good, I love this. This is fucking everything. This is so pretty, I'm obsessed. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this collection. Now, y'all know that this was sent to me. I am affiliated with Odin's Eye, so let's get this out of the way. If you're ever interested in wanting to try Odin's Eye, my code is whew, garbage, and yes, it's affiliate, but it doesn't work on collabs. So now regardless if this was sent to me in PR or not, I'm still gonna give you my full honest thoughts. And I have to say that I am very disappointed. No, okay. <laughs> no, I really like this collection. I think it's really, really cute. As a fan of Odin's Eye, I feel like the quality is across the board. There was maybe a couple of things that was like, oh, okay. Hmm. First one being that some of the shimmers did have a little bit of like a gritty texture to them. They're not pressed glitters by any means. And it doesn't fuck up the opacity. It's just like when you swatch them, when you touch them, they're not as silky smooth as I know Odin's Eye shimmers to be. So that's something I wanted to point out. The other thing is that with that being hard pressed, I noticed that some of the lighter ones, there is a little bit of like, like hard pan to that, but there are easy fixes to get rid of that. Also, you know, the hard pan is due to like the little fatty oils you got in your damn fingers and shit like that. So that's just a heads up. If you keep literally fingering your palate, that's what's gonna happen. And that sounded disgusting and I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if you're only really interested in getting one palette, I, I say this is the, the palette that has a little bit of everything. I love the gross grungy greens. I love the oranges, the reds, these beautiful, beautiful maroon colors. Like this is solid. I fucking love it. I do love the little ghost palette, but again, like I said earlier, I kind of feel like, I don't know, like this is more of a companion palette in my opinion. Like you can definitely make looks with it, but I don't feel as creative as say using this one. This one I feel like is foolproof and I'm like, I got it. I know at least seven different fucking things I want to do with it. This one I have to think about a little bit more, which is kind of nice because it forces me a little bit out of my comfort zone because you know, y'all know me. I have literally been a little neutral Nelly bitch. So it's kind of nice to play with color every once in a while. And there's some really beautiful moments here. Like that yellow is really, really good. A nice yellow. I'm always on that 
hashtag quest for yellow and that doesn't disappoint the blues are fantastic I really do love the oranges down here I think my only complaint was maybe the little ghost shade I noticed when combining that in haunted house it had a little bit of like a lifting patchy moment and it, once I took away that little ghost shade everything was fine so it makes me believe that this is kind of the culprit here so I need to be mindful of that one but the shimmers in this I think are perfect they're really pretty but I really love the blues so if you are a fan of Odin's eye then you kind of know what the deal here is now had I spent my own money on both of these palettes I would be very very satisfied with them again I would still probably be leaning more heavily on the trick-or-treat palette but there are some really beautiful fucking pops of like duochrome shimmers in here that would make me really, really happy to have this. So had I spent my money, I would be very, very pleased with it. Now moving on to the lip products, which I have to say is probably the most surprising thing. And granted, I thought it was gonna be like the other way around. I love the palettes, I think they're great. But I thought like, okay, lip products, eh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know me, I'm not really a big lip product person anyway. I like what I like and I don't really go out of my comfort zone too much, but I really like the formula of all three. Although I will say probably the matte lip stains are my least favorite, only because I don't really like matte products. But I found that the opacity was really, really nice. It was very, very easy to put on. It wasn't an insufferable matte where I felt like I needed to put a gloss on top of it. I just don't like how my lips look with a matte product. So I'm really, really happy that there was like a glow and a shine option to put on top of it. The glow one is so good. And then matte mixed with the one matte, the one matte lip stain. Holy shit, bitch. I always loved orange lip products, but like I admired from afar because I never felt like I could pull them off. But look, I feel like I could. And I really, really like it. It was a little touch and go in the beginning because I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. But it's actually really, really nice. And even using the shimmer with the other matte product, I thought like, wow, this is actually a really beautiful color combination. So I really like that you can mix and match and they all work out really, really well. My favorite formula clearly is the shine ones. Spectral in itself is coming into the grave with me. <laughs> this is such a beautiful color. It's such a beautiful formula. And I just love how it Field. It's so comfortable. This is the kind of color that would live inside my bag because no matter what I have on my face, it's always going to look solid. It's always going to bring the look together. So I really, really do love the lip products. I would recommend checking out the lip bundle because not only do you get all of them, but you also get a plushy keychain too. And what is there not to love about that? Overall, I think this collection was really, really cute. It was a lot of fun. And I like turning myself into an electric pumpkin and a colorful clownfish. <laughs> Now I would love to hear from y'all. Again, thank you so much to Odin's Eye and Angie for sending this my way and congratulations to my beautiful Swedish queen, Angie. It's well deserved. Love your face, pumpkin. Anyway, now I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you have any of these products or if you're waiting. Actually, I don't know if you would have them right away because I think it just launched last week. So I'm sure some of y'all are gonna be getting them very, very soon. But let me know uh, if you do have them, right? Let me know if you've been loving them because I would love to hear from you. And again, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me in threads, blue sky, when I remember. <laughs> <laughs> and to my beautiful, wonderful patrons and YouTube members, thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really scary garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you. And I love your adorable little delicious faces. I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what's currently on my face, everything that I talked about in today's video will be linked down below. And uh, with that said, I'll, I'll see you little pumpkins tomorrow. Bye.